Tempe police team up to help a little boy who lost his favorite toy truck. Somebody stole the child's battery operated John Deere tractor. But Tempe police are on the case. They teamed up with Walmart to save the day. Fox 10's Irene Snyder is live with more. Irene. O'Brien and good and Brian and Linda, good evening. The boy's parents tell me that he found the original truck that was stolen. He found it on the side of a garbage can. He and his dad spent a ton of time fixing it up together only to have it stolen a couple of weeks ago. And that's the reason why that gift this morning from the Tempe police officers was extra special. Cruising around the neighborhood in his Power Wheels Gator, four-year-old Gerald is living the dream. This is his second mini car. His first was stolen earlier this month. It was very sad seeing him so hurt. He'd draw pictures and tell stories of when he had his gator and, you know, why was it gone? Gerald and his dad found the old gator propped up on the side of a garbage can and together, father and son fixed it up. It wasn't money at all and just having someone take something that we spent so much time. Peter posted the story on Facebook and word quickly spread, catching the attention of Tempe Police Sergeant Andrew Brooks. So my wife said, hey, you got to do something about this dude. Like, you got to take care of this. So enlisting the help of his fellow officers, Brooks went out and bought a brand new Gator, put it together and surprised Gerald with it this morning. He thought he was coming out to meet some friends at the park. Little did he know he was meeting some adult friends who were here to, to make a kid's day. Sergeant Brooks says just seeing Gerald smile made his day too. And this will always be a very special memory. We deal with so many negative things in the world and there's so much negativity going on. Um, just to be able to just bring some joy is, is awesome. It's a good feeling. And Gerald spent most of the day since this morning when he first got the truck riding it all around this Tempe neighborhood. The biggest challenge for us, it was great watching him, ton of fun. Uh, the biggest challenge for us was trying not to get run over. <laughs> Reporting live in Tempe, I'm Irene Snyder for Fox 10 News.